okay, I'm back. And everyone always says that I always say okay. And it's because my father used to walk into a room and he would go, okay. And that was it. He would then proceed to talk about what's going on and what he's going to do and whatever. Okay. Yeah, it's a habit now. Can't help it. So I haven't been on in a while, and I just want to chat about whatever. So let's start with Megan and Harry leaving the royal family. Don't ask me why. I don't even, I really don't even care, honestly. <laughs> I don't keep up at the royals, and most people in the United States don't. And some do, yeah, some are totally into it, and it's cool, and it's tradition there, and the people love that, and I love that they love that. We don't have anything like that here. We have the Kardashians, and I'm sorry, but <laughs> no, just no, mm-mm, no. I hate when they compare the Kardashians to the royals. Okay, so... Meghan Markle was an actress. She was asked to be set up with Harry, from what I understand, and she'd always wanted to be a princess. Who hadn't, except me, I never wanted to be a princess. Seriously, I knew that fairy tales were totally fucked up and dysfunctional, and they didn't turn out the way most people thought they did. And I think that's just from my family, <laughs> you know, witnessing reality. Okay, so she wanted to be a princess, and she became a princess. Harry fell in love with her. She's very smart, very beautiful. And I think at first she seemed very excited. You know, they're, they're going to love me. This is awesome. This is the best thing ever. Can you imagine, you know, going from where we are to where she ended up? So yeah, she had high hopes, and I don't blame her. I would have felt the same fucking way. I would have been like, oh, cool, except I never wanted to be in that position. I saw what they did to Diana. Um, I saw what they did to Fergie. I mean, they were cruel. Uh, the media there is crueler than it is here somehow. <sighs> okay. So, hold on one second. Okay, I just had to write someone back really quick. Okay, so she gets there. It's like this fantasy world. I mean, I've always dreamt of staying in England. I visited. I have family there. I've always had that fantasy of just kind of getting a flat in London. And a friend of mine had this really cool flat that had, it was at the very top, the very top floor. And he could look out to the sky but not only that, he had a patio. He had a garden patio. Very small, but still it had plants. And it looked out over the rooftops of London. Very Mary Poppins, you know, kind of thing. And I don't know, I just loved his place. And I always had the fantasy of moving there and just getting the fuck away from America. But that fantasy is so far gone, I can't even tell you. Okay, so she gets there. She's like greeted very nicely. Everyone, you know, oh wow, you know, the first half African-American, half white princess, and, you know, they were so cute together, they're so in love, and they still are, then they have a baby, and little by little, you could see her kind of breaking, you know, she, she has the fake smile on, but you could tell that she just wants to cry, and it's because I think she forgot or didn't realize that the press there is fucking brutal, the paparazzi are crazy um, and poor Harry he grew up with this you know he was forced I'm, I mean he was forced obviously he was just a kid he was forced to walk behind his mother's body I just thinking about it it's just wow 
Um, I don't know how long it was. They were, it seemed like they were walking forever. And I remember being kind of younger and, and going, wow, they're making the sons walk behind their own mother's body in front of the whole world. It wasn't just, you know, an intimate affair. It was just boom. And I remember seeing little Harry and he looked just kind of like he just wanted to fall apart. And I kept thinking, I'm like, they're going to have problems later in life. This is not normal. This is fucked up. So sure enough, later on in life, Harry's suffered with depression, anxiety, all of that. But William seems to come out of it okay. I don't know how, but, you know, he, he falls in love young. He has kids. Uh, he supports his brother. They're very close. Okay. So the paparazzi are going after Megan. Hardcore. And they're making up lies as usual. They're talking a bunch of shit. They're just... I don't know. I don't know. But I know that Harry compared it to the way they treated his mother. And Harry has never gotten over the fact that they killed his mother. And let's face it, they did kill his mother. If they weren't chasing her through a tunnel in Paris, she would still be alive. You know, they were trying to dodge the paparazzi and they were on bikes and they were, they were on all sides of them. Just how terrifying must that have been? I don't, I can't even imagine. This is why I don't want fame. I don't never, I never think of fame. There's no part of me that ever wanted to be famous. And it's not like I could have been, but I've never dreamt of that. It seems like a nightmare. Okay, so Harry's like, fuck, this life, I'm stuck. I'm stuck in this life. I have no choice. I was born into this. But Megan comes along, and she's like, you know, from California, and she's an actress, and she's like, you know what? Fuck this shit. You know, they're lying. They're chasing us. They don't like me for no reason. I didn't do anything to them. <sighs> they're taking pictures of my baby boy, and... Uh, so let's just get the fuck out of here. And he's like, okay. Yeah, I'm just picturing. I don't know. It probably was way more complicated than that. But if you saw Harry get off the plane landing in Canada last week, he looked like a little boy going to Disneyland. He was so excited. He's like, <gasps> you know, like, I'm free. You know, so I'm happy for them. I really am. <laughs> Yes, okay, she knew what she was getting into. How could she not? But at the same time, she kind of freed Harry. But, oh, the people aren't going to like that. No. Basically, they're saying that she kidnapped their royal, and she's a bad influence, and, you know, now him and the brother aren't getting along very well, and I don't know. All I know is that this is what's best for him and his wife and his child. And that should come first. And they're very happy and they're in love. I think she's pregnant again. And she had a friend of hers uh, lend her um, a beautiful house on an island in Canada. So she's okay. She's going to be okay. And she also used to work in Canada when she worked for that show she was on. I don't know what it is. Okay, so they're very happy. Um... I feel bad for what Harry's had to go through, and I know he's wanted to be free for a long time, and I think Megan was exactly what he needed, and I think that's why he was drawn to her, because she was so outspoken and so real and honest, and the people around him are always like, oh, yes, Harry, yes, Harry, you know, the yes men, and so she's just like, you know what, if you don't want to be here, and they're talking the shit, and we were suing the the papers, um, let's just go, you know, I don't think she realized that it was going to be a big deal, <laughs> mm, but anyways, I like her, I didn't at first, I thought she was just kind of, um, you know, dating him just to be a princess kind of thing, I, I don't know, I, just being judgmental, and I don't like that about myself, I don't like that about anyone, but I think I was at first, and then went, I saw what was happening to her. I thought, oh my God, I feel so bad for her. Her life seems like hell. All right, so that's my take on Megan and Harry peacing out, you know, getting the fuck out of there. Good for them. And that's all for today.